Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019 Paper 2 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. Suppose determinant of this matrix which has some summations as its elements is equal to 0 holds uh, for some positive integer n. Then sigma k equal to 0 to n nck by k plus 1 equals. It is a numeric type question. Let's solve it. If you see carefully, the first term essentially is sum of first n natural numbers, which will be n, n plus 1 by 2. If you see second row, second column element, sigma k equal to 0 to n, n c k 3 to the power k, this essentially is 4 to the power n. Now you may say, how is that? It's because you may see this expression as n c naught 3 to the power 0 plus n c 1 times 3 to the power 1 plus n c 2 times 3 to the power 2 plus so and so forth plus n c n times 3 to the power n. This essentially is binomial expansion if I have the expression 1 plus 3 whole to the power n. So this essentially becomes 4 to the power n. Next let's consider row 2 column 1 element sigma k equal to 0 to n n c k times k. This essentially becomes n times 2 to the part n minus 1. And similarly, uh, row 1 column 2 element, it essentially becomes n times 2 to the part n minus 1 plus n n minus 1 times 2 to the part n minus 2. So uh, how have these uh, two elements come? Let's explore in the next slide. So sigma k equal to 0 to n n c k times k. So here you may avoid a 0 because anyway it will give you value 0. So we may take the summation from k equal to 1 to n. Now n c k is essentially n factorial divided by n minus k factorial k factorial. But then when multiplied by k I can write this as k minus 1 factorial. So if you see carefully this essentially becomes n I can take out and it becomes n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus k factorial k minus 1 factorial k varying from 1 to n. So basically it is n times sigma n minus 1 c k minus 1 where k is varying from 1 to n. So it is essentially n minus 1 c naught plus n minus 1 c 1 plus so and so forth n minus 1 c n minus 1. So this essentially becomes n times 2 to the power n minus 1. Now if you see this uh, another term sigma k equal to 0 to n n c k k square again you may remove uh, k equal to 0. You can start from uh, k equal to 1 by because when you put k to be 0 anyway the term would be 0. So k equal to 1 summation till n n c k this k square we may write as k square minus k plus k. So k square minus k I can write as k times k minus 1 plus k. Now if you see carefully uh, this essentially becomes sigma n c k k k minus 1 plus sigma n c k k. Now here uh, I can start k from not just 1 but 2. Why? Because when you put k to be 1 anyway this term would become 0 and for k equal to 0 it anyway was 0. So originally we started uh, with k equal to 1 but for this particular expression you may start we may start with k equal to 2 to n and this is k equal to 1 to n. Now this we have just now evaluated above and this turns out to be n times 2 to the power n minus 1. And what about this? This again by the similar trick we may do it like this. I can write sigma n factorial divided by n minus k factorial and k factorial would come but when k factorial when cancelled against k k minus 1 which is coming in numerator it essentially becomes k minus 2 factorial. So basically uh, as k varies from 2 to uh, n I can take n n minus 1 common from numerator and it becomes sigma n minus 1 
sorry n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus k factorial k minus 2 factorial so this essentially becomes as k varies from uh, 2 to n n times n minus 1 sigma n minus 2 c k minus 2 as k varies from 2 to n so very simply this becomes n n minus 1 times 2 to the power n minus 2 why because sigma k equal to 2 to n n minus 2 c k minus 2 would be 2 to the power n minus 2 so let's get back to that determinant and this determinant essentially is 0 so let's expand it so here if I take 4 to the power n common I would get n n minus 1 by 2 and mind you 4 to the power n is 2 to the power 2 n so as you expand this determinant after taking 4 to the power n common you would get n n minus 1 by 2 minus n square by 4 minus n n minus 1 by 8 equal to 0 now if you see carefully 4 to the power n would never be 0 even n equal to 0 we would not allow because n is supposed to be some positive integer so as you take LCM now you get a quadratic which would essentially be actually there would be n square coming here and when you cancel n 1n remains so as I was saying you would get a quadratic which would be n square minus 3n minus 4 equal to 0 so that would mean n is either minus 1 or 4 but you will not take n to be minus 1 because n is supposed to be of course some positive integer so you take n to be 4 now having got n to be 4 let's evaluate this expression so here it becomes sigma k equal to 0 to 4 4 c k by k plus 1 now we can write this as sigma k equal to 0 to 4 4 factorial divided by k factorial 4 minus k factorial whole divided by k plus 1 so this essentially becomes sigma k equal to 0 to 4 4 factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial 4 minus k factorial so this essentially uh, becomes sigma 5 factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial 4 minus k factorial and since I have written 5 factorial instead of 4 factorial I will also divide by 5 and the purpose of uh, doing this is that we observe in denominator k plus 1 plus 4 minus k is 5 so to take this as 5 factorial it enables us to write this expression as 5 c k plus 1 so here this essentially becomes 1 by 5 times you may say 5 c 1 when you put k to be 0 plus 5 c 2 plus 5 c 3 plus 5 c 4 plus 5 c 5 clearly this is essentially 2 to the power 5 except the fact that 5c not term is missing so you will subtract 5c not which is essentially 1 so this essentially becomes 32 minus 1 which is 31 and 31 by 5 is essentially 6.2 that's our answer thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question